Well, each one of these birds has a background to it, and I was looking forward to doing this one because I'm just beginning to know Ralph Papa, and uh, and I wanted a bird that matched him just right. This bird, this black ibis, is it's on the endangered list as our great people, and uh, it's it's. Uh, it's got its home in Turkey right now, and I know that Ralph has spent some time in the Middle East, so I thought that was appropriate. But the fact that it lives a very long life, and it mates for life. So 30 years, in, in bird years, I suppose Ralph is up there, uh, in, he's about 20 years out or something. <laughs> oh my God, I'm almost gone. <laughs> no, you're not. <laughs> And uh, I've got Ralph's signature cap on the bird here, and I'll take the liberty of changing that cap each time I do a different bird or I've got Ralph in a different picture. It's so tempting to call him Papa Bird. <laughs> He's cuter than I am. <laughs> uh -huh. And it's one of the things that's changing in my art that I'm focusing on more. Just like Michelangelo never drew a real static looking rigid figure. They were all having a twist to them or some kind of a pose that was pretty dramatic. This bird has got a pose that's pretty dramatic and uh, the kind of paint that I used on it to give it its color is interference. And I think that's going to give me a, a good chance to get this looking like a classic bird, except for the cap. <laughs> Thank you, Suzette. My pleasure.